With Perch installed, we can start to edit our first content. I'm going to start with the home page, and there's this introductory paragraph here on the home page which I'm going to make editable. The first thing I need to do is change my .html pages into .php pages. Perch needs PHP in order to run. Now it is possible to parse a .html page as PHP on most web servers, so you can have a look in our documentation about using other file extensions. But let's keep things simple for now and just turn this to .php. Now we need to link in the Perch runtime. This is how we include Perch in our page. So this is just a PHP include. And we include the Perch folder and then runtime.php. If you've changed the name of the Perch folder, perhaps to admin or CMS or something like that, just make sure you also change the reference to it uh, when you're linking to the runtime. Now we've done that, we can scroll down and find the content we want to edit. Here it is, we've got this div class main content. Let's just take that chunk of content and delete it. Now I'm going to add a perch region. Another PHP tag there. And we say perch content. And inside the brackets, we need to give this a name, just something so we know what it is. So this is the introduction, so let's just call this intro. And then save the page. Now if we go into the browser, what I want to do is copy this content so we can quickly use that in the admin. So let's copy that. And then reload the page. And now that content has disappeared. But also, Perch knows that we've put a Perch region on that page. So if we go here to Manage Content and Reload the Admin, we can see the home page has appeared. And we've got under Regions a new region called Intro. And Intro is what we called our region. So if we click on Home Page. Now I've only got one region, so it goes straight through to it. I'm going to choose the default text block template. Hit submit and we get this text area with a little toolbar. I can paste in my content. And by default we're using Markdown. You can see it says down here Markdown. And so the toolbar will insert Markdown. Or you can just type it in if you're familiar. Now you don't need to use Markdown. Perch supports various WYSIWYG editors, things like Redactor and CK Editor. Our default templates use Markdown because we think it's quite a nice way to work. But if you want to use an HTML editor inside Perch, that's absolutely fine and you can install that. So I've added some Markdown, I've done some simple formatting there. I can hit Save Changes. And the content's updated, so let's go back to our page and reload. And there it is, that's now content managed content with Perch.